Hi everybody and welcome back to my basement. Today I'm gonna talk about how to strip down a GoPro, especially the Hero 6 in this case, and turn it into a micro cine whoop. Super small, super lightweight. Let's do this. So, first thing first, why a Hero 6? As I explained in my latest video about Real Steady, the Hero 6 is the best GoPro to use with Real Steady. Real Steady is a software that stabilizes your footage, and that's what we use to stabilize micro CineWoop footage. You can use a Hero 8, I guess, but there is no documentation, the board is bigger. This is the cheapest and best way you can go with it. Because you can get them used for, this one was like 100 bucks, you can get them for 100, 150, so even like broken ones, if you find some with the broken screen, you can get them. You will, you will not use your screen because you will remove it. Now, before we strip it down, we need to check some things. The first thing is the firmware version. You want to be at firmware version 1.6. And I will show you how to upgrade or downgrade your GoPro to fit that 1.6 firmware. That's the best one because it has the best stabilization and it will work amazing with Resteady. Like you will put on your drone, there are vibration, there is stuff and it still stabilizes perfectly. So I will show you how to do this. Remove the SD card from your camera. Put it inside your PC and format it. Now, in the link below in my description, you will find the update, the 1.6 update. Download it and unpack, unzip it. Now you will have three files. Now you go on your uh, uh, SD card, on your GoPro SD card, and you create a folder called update. All caps. You take the three files and you stick them into this folder. Perfect. You can take your SD card and now you can put it into your, your GoPro and turn it on. It will automatically update or downgrade in this case and it will show you when it's done and that's it. Really easy, really fast. It will show something on this screen, but my screen is broke, so you won't be able to see it. Perfect. Now the camera is downgraded to 1.6 and the second thing I suggest doing before stripping it down is connecting it to your phone via the GoPro app and turn on Wi-Fi because it will be the only way you will control it. This time we are gonna strip the front LCD screen because in this one we have the front LCD screen, so you can control it using the buttons. It's not a lot of controls, but you can change FPS and uh, resolution and stuff. This time, I'm gonna remove even the front plate, that's 10 grams, so there will be no way of controlling it, other, other than the app. So, really important uh, step. Perfect. Now that the app is connected and the GoPro is downgraded, it's time to strip it.